While everybody is celebrating today's ride out, <clears throat> I'm not. I'm going to share my little review of what I thought of today's ride out. I think it was a failure, and I'm going to explain why. I've seen a lot of new faces, a lot of new people, but ultimately something was lacking. What's lacking is a virtue of no man left behind. And it's something that people have to consider when we have events. Because it's very frustrating when you are setting up your gear or if you're just adjusting a helmet or whatever the case is and you're kind of preparing yourself to roll out. And then when you begin to look around, everybody's gone. Now, some would argue, well, you just got to pay attention. You just got to do this. You just got to do that. But that's not the case here. When it, when it comes to an event and a ride out, we have to understand that a lot of things can happen. Someone can get a flat tire and they may need assistance. And if everybody bounces, then what? That person's left behind because nobody's looking around. This morning, I was running a little late, so I got over to Kung Fu Tea and everybody was out there. And it was real nice to see a lot of riders. Everybody's out there. Everything seems cool. In the process of me kind of settling in, absorbing the energy that's around, I decide to put my camera on to set it up, catch some footage, you know typical of thing that you would do and I recall somebody was giving a speech on the ride out and I was paying attention listening to everything and then uh, okay speech is done now everybody kind of settled down and I'm adjusting my camera setting it up setting up the angle see what's going on everything is cool and I've seen a couple of riders that were around me but then next minute everybody disappeared and I look around and I see nobody. And I'm like, okay, they should be close. So let me just head on out. And I got to the corner and everybody was gone. That's one of the problems when it comes to a group event is when everybody's such an, they're in such a rush to move out that they're not focused on if anybody's left behind. And I think that's one of the main problems in today's event. Now, keep in mind, I am one of the main members in the East Coast Scooter Group, and I've been here for a long time. I've been to about three official East Coast Scooter rideouts, and I never had this problem. Um, I made a very in interesting comment in the event schedule section, that, that particular chat room, and um, I think somebody was cracking a joke about laughing out loud. Uh, you, you got lost, you couldn't keep up with uh, someone else or something like that. And that's not the case. Um, because me and another, another rider was pretty much left behind again. So twice for the day, the same issue happened. And it's very frustrating. I mean, even the other scooter rider was frustrated as well. Because not everybody is familiar with these, these apps uh, these location apps, everybody is not, you know, fluent with all these different devices. So it's very important that people learn to not rush because when you do that and you leave people behind, you know what you do? Uh, you discourage those people from actually even attending an event again. So that's why I made it clear that I would never attend another group ride that is not an official East Coast Scooter event. My first time attending an East Coast Scooter event, I can recall they were meeting up somewhere and I couldn't find the location. And in my attempt on trying to find the location, I recall I was getting help from other riders on how to get there. They assisted. Some even met me halfway. Got to the location. We rolled out. The event was a success. No man left behind. We all rolled in unison. Had a good time. The last event 
Everything was perfect. Perfect day. Everything cool. This event, total failure. Now, some of you, you may say, what are you talking about? It was a great ride out today. It's a great ride out for you because you weren't left behind. You have to be considerate of what it feels like to be setting up your bag and next minute everybody's gone. There's no excuses. People have to understand the importance of no man left behind because it discourages people. It's not cool. I'm riding a dual Tron Thunder, 50 plus miles per hour. This is not a thing about somebody not keeping up. This is about people leaving a location and disappearing. And another thing that I notice is that when you're in a group ride, you have to be concerned with who's there. You have to have key players who wait back and wait and say, yo, Where's so-and-so at? Where's this guy at? I don't see them. Yo, that person okay? Something happened to them? Because what if somebody got a flat tire? What if somebody crashed? You mean to tell me nobody's concerned? You mean to tell me nobody can't call somebody up? You mean to tell me nobody don't even think about if anything can went, have gone wrong? Some people may not know the city. Some people may not be good with directions. All of these things have to be considered. This is what makes a group event special because we think about all the potential problems that could go wrong. I never had this issue. And what's interesting on the second time when everybody left, another rider was left behind, too. So that makes two. And by the time we went and we looked at the map, everybody was gone. They were they were down somewhere else, somewhere in the boondocks, somewhere. And at that point, you know, you're discouraged at that point. You're like, you know what? Forget this. I'm not even going to waste my time. Because if something was to happen to me outside somewhere, what that just told me is that people would just bounce. I would just be left behind. If I'm in a location where I don't even know the area and everybody bounce, I'll just be sitting there trying to figure out how to get my way back. Because nobody's concerned. That's why I rate today's ride out. As a failure. And I'm using proper judgment when I'm looking at the circumstance. Now, again, anybody that's on the outside who is with the group, you may have a difference of opinion. That's because you were with the group. But when you finally get left behind, then you're going to learn what I'm talking about. We're not talking about keeping up with someone. We're not talking about speed. We're talking about when a man is adjusting his bag, his cameras, or just fixing his scooter, putting air in his tire, something, and then everybody disappear. Like, it's unacceptable. It's very, very uh, unacceptable because all it does, it breaks the morale. And now what we have is a situation where people just don't feel like people actually care about the event. And everyone's safety and well-being. When I'm attending an, an official East Coast scooter ride out, one of the key standards is no man left behind. No man. You know, there have been situations today I get caught at a light. Everybody's ahead. And everybody just keeps going. Nobody stops. Nobody stops. I had to literally try to figure out how to find the group the first time everybody bounced. I burnt out my battery speeding through different areas trying to figure out where everybody is. And when I finally figured it out, I took a shortcut somewhere and I got back in contact with the group. And I ran into a couple of other guys. But then for the same thing to happen again, it kind of make you wonder like, wow. No one really focuses on no man left behind you know light turns red people got to stop you just can't be turning corners left and right you can't do that somebody say yeah but you know we have all the information on the app and the app and everybody don't have that app that's my point everyone is not app literate 
You might be, but other people may not be. I'm a music producer. You may not know how to produce music. You understand? You may know your way around the city. Other people may not. You understand my point? So it's very important that people have that in mind when you're on a group ride. You have to slow down. You have to stop and consider who's left behind. How many people are at this event? Who's missing from the group? Is is everybody okay? You know? You have to have that in mind. So without me rambling on anymore, this is just my review of today's event. I met a a couple of new guys. Um, You know what I mean? It's all good. But um, my opinion of today's ride out is a, a total failure. And um, this is why I pretty much stick to um, official East Coast scooter ride outs, because um, in my humble opinion, um, the three ride outs that I originally been on, it have been official, like official where everybody is in unison. We all understand that there is an agenda to go out and everybody get back safe. No man left behind. That should be the number one rule in any group event. You count how many people are there. And when you're rolling out, you got to make sure everybody is ready. You can't just roll out and figure, well, they'll catch up. You can't assume that. Because you have to be responsible. This goes for any, uh, any group event organizer. This goes for any key players. You have to keep that in mind. Everybody have to have that in mind. Because if someone get left behind, you're held responsible for that. Because you don't know what caused them to be left behind. They could have been repairing something. They could have been doing something that was important. They could have been uh, went to use the bathroom, which just went into a corner store to get a water and come back out. Everybody's gone. Like, right, Wow. So we can't assume anything. So all the jokes, you know, save all the jokes. I'm very serious right now. Because after today's event, I'm not doing it no more. So uh, with that said, um, any group ride that I attend is going to be an official East Coast scooter ride out. And um, that's just the way things are going to be from now on. Um, I'm not interested in any other event, no matter even if anybody try to implement any of the things that I've been talking about. I just don't feel comfortable attending group rides where um, things are moving too quick and everything is a rush, just a rush to go. And no one is caring about who's not there or, yo, when I tell you it's very frustrating, it's very frustrating. And, you know, I may sound like a fucking complainer. But at the end of the day, if you experience the bullshit that I have to experience twice, you would understand my frustration. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say for today. Peace.